Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockholm Supply with Glenn, my friend, neighbor, and co-worker. Yeah. So we are going to, well, we designed a new product here. It's kind of cool. It's called the scroll clip. So I want to show you guys this here today. But um, the only way to really demonstrate what this does is actually kind of show you guys. That's why I got led here. So first off, this Rikon scroll saw is a beautiful machine. The, uh, the blade holding system is super versatile where it'll hold... Uh, pinless blade or pinned blades so it'll do pretty much any blade type it'll hold it now when you have something that's so versatile like that sometimes certain things while it'll do everything it may not do some things very well and one of those things is interior cuts on the fretwork like this so we got seven little cuts here um, so we designed this little clip to kind of improve the speed and how easy it is to do that so yeah, me and Len are going to have a little race here. Uh, my scroll saw does not have the new scroll clip. The lens does. So, um, yeah, I guess do you want to count to three and we'll, we'll start? Ready to race? Ready to race. <laughs> All right, so on three we'll start. I'm holding my Allen key. One, two, three, go. Okay. Yeah. Loosen that off here. Okay, so the camera can come up nice close here. The issue here is, I gotta take this off. As soon as I loosen that blade, this little guy in the bottom falls off, which makes it a real pain in the butt. So what I'm gonna do, find my hole, I guess I'll go number one here. I'll slide that through. Come on, buddy. Should I keep going? Keep going. <laughs> okay. So now that I got it through the hole, I got to find a way. Make sure I don't have it backwards. I got to get that bottom clip back hanging up. Come on. I'm going to beat you, man. Oh, I already beat you. I'm on number two. <laughs> Are you really? Yes. Give me a break here. Okay. Should I keep going? Number three? You're embarrassing me. Oh, I'm almost... Got her. Okay, now we're in business here. Okay, so now if I push this down, I'll hold that blade. Ass! Done. Number almost one. three. <laughs> you almost got three? Uh, yep. Yeah. Well... Good job, Lynn. That probably shows you guys how much faster it is to do with the scroll clip. Man, that's beautiful. Thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. Okay, so I definitely lost. Um, by the time I got one with my scroll saw over here, Len was able to get three. Um, so about three times as fast doing it that way. Now, I'm going to do it kind of in slow motion, and you guys can get up nice and close here. And I can show you in a little more detail what the issue is. So if I loosen this guy here, and I loosen it here, what happens, this guy in the bottom automatically just falls off. So it can be a real pain in the butt while you're trying to get your piece of wood on there. If you get the camera right down that hole so we can see, I gotta be able to find a way to line this little clip up with that bottom there, okay, so I got it there, but at the same time, hold the scroll saw blade and get it through the hole. Okay, so now I'm not gonna put that back in because it's painted, but so you can see it's just loose there. Oh man, I lost it. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so now over here, what we've done, you got the thumb screw on the top, so if you loosen that, it's a lot easier to loosen, no Allen key needed there. But this guy does not fall off. It's got that clip on the bottom, so it stays in place. It'll allow you to pivot it back and forth, so you can position it um, through your hole. So it makes for a really nice top feeding scroll saw here, um, or bottom feeder, sorry. Um, so now, same thing, when you want to tighten it back up, you don't have to worry about holding tension on this blade while you're tightening it. It'll just slide right in there and tighten up with that thumb screw.
Now, if you're using a lot of very small blades, like number five and less, sometimes um, it's worth, with an Allen key on the other side of that blade holder, just tightening it up a little bit more so you don't worry about that uh, falling off there, and then you tighten it up. So there you go. Um, so you don't need to take this uh, insert out, but I just took it out just to show you guys what it looked like down there. So that's the scroll clip. Now, it actually took a number of tries for me to make this correctly. The first try, I'm trying to make it out of a kind of a basic plastic, but what I found is as that stretches up and back and forth like that, it would wear out and then it would just break. Um, and then I tried metal. Problem with metal is as it slapped back and forth every time it banged and it made a really loud noise. So it was just, when that scroll saw was running, it was very loud. Now what I've done here, this material, it's kind of a space age plastic. It's a really cool stuff. It's called Delrin. Um, so it has no memory, so I can flex that and it's never gonna really remember that it's been bent. And then we got a nylon bushing on the bottom here. That'll keep it from being too loud. To put this on the scroll saw is incredibly easy. That guy right there, that Allen key, you just loosen that and you just put this right on top of the clip. So if you look at this scroll saw here, to put that on, I would just loosen that and that will go right on top. Just like that, same on the top and the bottom. So yeah, it's a really cool little design. If you have a scroll saw that has a blade holder that looks like that, a lot of scroll saws do, whether you have a Rikon, a Record Power, Central Machinery, um, a Wen, they will have a clip like that, plus a lot more that, there's probably dozens of manufacturers that make one that looks like this. If you have a scroll saw that looks like that, this scroll clip will fit. Now, the beauty of it is it'll make the scroll saw experience just so much more enjoyable, and that's why we all scroll saw there. So, yeah, um, if anybody else has any questions, um, I'll make sure I post a link to this uh, product in the, in the description of the video, but if anybody has any questions, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or just comment on the video. Now, if you want to see future videos, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button. That'll notify you when a new video is posted. Thanks for watching.